Hey guys, it's Jennifer with The Family Fudge, and today I have lots of fun but easy lunch ideas to share with you. And I'm super excited because today we've asked a mystery YouTube family to choose our lunches for us. And the mystery family is the Sunshine Mafia. They are a family of 10 and they also have their own family band. They have lots of crazy adventures on their channel. Definitely go check them out and let them know that the Family Fudge sent you. Now, like I said, they did pick out our lunches this week, so you're gonna see lots of new ideas, different things that we don't normally put in the lunches. Now, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you love fun lunch ideas. Now, let's get started. Our first lunch today was chosen by Miss Juliana. This girl loves berries, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some strawberries and blueberries and blackberries in here. And for our vegetable, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some carrots. And because I'm actually making these lunches for my kids, I'm also gonna add some ranch because I know they probably won't eat the carrots without the ranch. For our sandwich today, we're gonna go with Juliana's favorite, ham and cheese. And to make sure these sandwiches don't flop open in our lunchbox, I'm going to add a little pick to keep it all together. Now I usually put a special treat into each lunch and so Juliana chose carrot cake. So I'm actually gonna make some carrot cake mini donuts because I thought that would be super fun. I found this little donut maker at a thrift store for $3 and I couldn't wait to give it a try. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my carrot cake batter. I'm gonna cook them up. This works just like a waffle iron. It's super quick and easy. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla icing on there and of course some sprinkles. <laughs> These came out so cute, I know the kids will love them. Next, I'm gonna add two more of Juliana's favorite lunch items, which are Cheeto Puffs. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a few in this little container. This will keep them nice, they won't get crushed at all. And then she's a big fan of orange soda. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a tiny can in there. I'm gonna offer it to my kids if they'd like to try it. They can. Before I get my lids on here, I'm gonna stop and take a few pictures to post on the Bunches of Lunches Facebook group. If you haven't joined already, you totally should. It's a really fun community where you can share your fun lunch creations or ask any lunch-related questions you might have. After lunch, I will show you what they ate. Lunch is over now, and here's what we ate. And it looks like Everything. I'm amazed, you guys. You must have really liked today's lunch, huh? Mm -hmm. Except there was one thing that nobody really liked except for Jackson. It was the orange soda. Mm -hmm. The girls, you didn't really like it? No. But Jackson liked it. Okay, guys, what was your favorite part? Uh, the donuts, the sandwich, and the fruit. Mm -hmm. What about you girls? I actually really liked the fruit, most of all. Yeah, those berries were tasty. I like the sandwich, the carrots, and the donuts. Good job today, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. Next up, we have Jordan's lunch. I'm gonna start by adding some sliced up peaches. And next, I'm going to add some seasoned tomatoes. So this is just chopped up tomatoes with salt and pepper and a little bit of seasoning salt. Definitely something that's new for us. I'm hoping that my kids will like it. Next up, I'm throwing in some BLTs. But to make these extra fun, I'm using my rainbow bread and my star shape sandwich cutter. These came out so cute. I'm pretty sure my kids will love them. And again, just to keep the sandwich together in the lunchbox, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few picks in there. We have bunnies and bears and little chickadees. They're so cute. Now I'm gonna add just a couple more of Jordan's favorite items, which include some salt and vinegar chips. I love salt and vinegar chips. I think they're really good, but I'm not quite sure if my kids will like them. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a fan of salt and vinegar. Now, just like with Juliana's lunch, I wanted to make a special treat for Jordan's lunch, and he said that he's a huge fan of raspberry cheesecake. So I made these really easy mini cheesecakes. Now I have a separate video on how I make this. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you'd like to check it out, but they're really easy. This recipe starts with an Oreo cookie on the bottom of each little cupcake liner, and that is going to be the crust of our cheesecake. These treats are really easy to make, but I do recommend that you make them the night before. They definitely need some time to set up in the fridge. Now that's everything in today's lunch. And of course, afterwards, I'll show you if they liked it or not. 
Lunch is over now. Okay guys, tell me what your favorite part of today's lunch and tell me what was something that you didn't really like. I didn't really like the tomatoes, but I really liked the sandwich. Yeah, BLTs are, are tasty. What about you? Um, I liked almost everything. Almost everything? Yeah, you did pretty good. I thought the salt and vinegar chips were really good. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you tomorrow. Our next lunch was chosen by Miss Mariah. For the main course, she chose barbecue chicken. So what I'm gonna do is actually make barbecue chicken sandwiches. I'm gonna start by adding a sesame seed bun to each of the lunch boxes. And then I'm going to take some leftover rotisserie chicken from last night's dinner, and I'm going to add some barbecue sauce to that. I'm gonna get this nice and hot, and then I'm going to put it in the thermoses. That way the kids can actually build their own sandwich when they're ready to eat it, and it will be nice and warm. Now to go along with their barbecue chicken sandwich, I thought some pickles would be really tasty. And then in this back corner, I'm going to add some peaches. Mariah also is a huge fan of peaches, and she also really likes these seasoned tomatoes, like a lot of her siblings like. It's just tomatoes, salt and pepper, and a little bit of seasoning salt. Oh yes, and I forgot to mention that there is a little bit of vinegar in there as well. And to make these lunches extra fun, I've thrown in lots of little picks for the kids to use. Now to go with today's lunch, Mariah chose some Doritos. So I'm gonna go ahead and put just a few of those in this little container. And next to that, I'm going to add Mariah's special treat. And she chose fruit cake. Now when I think of fruit cake, I think of the kind that you get around Christmas. I think Costco makes a really good fruit cake, but it wasn't available. So instead, I'm going to add this German style fruit cake. It has marzipan in there. It's also known as stolen. Let me know if you've ever tried stolen. I definitely think my kids will like this one. And then last but not least, I'm going to add some of my googly eye picks into my sandwich buns. I just think it makes them look like cute little monsters. And that's everything in today's lunch. We'll see how they do. We're back home now and here's what we ate. So overall, they did pretty good. Lily must not have had much of an appetite today, huh? Yeah. But she is getting sick, so maybe, maybe that's why. I love the pickles. She does love pickles. I think you eat pickles every day. Yeah, I don't. The barbecue sauce was a little too spicy for me. Uh-oh. What'd you guys think about the fruit cake? It was yummy. It was yummy. Yeah, if you like raisins, you will like that fruit cake. And we'll see you tomorrow. Our next lunch was chosen by Jaden, who's actually the same age as Jackson. For this lunch, he chose blueberries for his fruit. And just like his brother and sister, he also chose some seasoned tomatoes. He also chose some Doritos. And then I'm not quite sure if he likes string cheese, but I wanted to go ahead and throw it in here anyway because I know my kids will. This is actually a combination of cheddar and mozzarella, so it looks like a really fun twist design. For the main course today, Jaden chose chicken wings. So for these chicken wings, I'm using some store-bought frozen ones. I've just heated them back up, and then I'm going to add them to my preheated thermoses so that they'll stay nice and warm. My kids, I don't know that they've ever had chicken wings, so hopefully they'll like them. Next, I'm going to add Jaden's favorite drink, which is some ginger ale. Ginger ale always reminds me of flying in the airplane because that's always my first choice. Jaden's first choice for a special treat would be chocolate ice cream, but I didn't know how I would keep it from melting, so instead, I'm going to add some of these chocolate iced cookies. This is just a little biscuit with a little chocolate on top. This is more of a European style cookie. My kids have never tried it before, but it looks delicious. And that's it for today's lunch. Afterwards, I'll show you what they ate. Lunch is over now. Okay guys, what did you think about the chicken wings? I really I, liked it. I liked it, but I prefer no bones. No bones, yeah, that's a little bit neater. It's a little bit easier to eat, I think. But they smelled really good, so they must have tasted good. What else, you guys? What did you like? What did you dislike? I like the Doritos, even though they were a little spicy. Yeah, they were a little spicy. What about you, Lily? What was your favorite part? I love the blueberries. I ate them all. I think you guys did a great job overall, and we'll see you tomorrow. 
Next up, we have Tyson's lunch. Now, Tyson is 14, so this is definitely a good lunch for a teen. So Tyson decided to go with some pears for the fruit and some broccoli for the vegetable. <laughs> And I always love to add these eye picks to my broccoli. I feel like it's one of the only things you can do to make broccoli more fun. And the other thing is to throw in some ranch for dipping. Now Tyson's first choice for a sandwich would have been a grouper sandwich. And unfortunately, I don't think we can get grouper around here. And even if we did, I'm not sure my kids would like it. So I went with his second choice, which was a chicken sandwich. And I decided to go ahead and make it into chicken salad sandwiches. And I have a separate video on how I make my chicken salad. I'll go ahead and link it down below if you would like to check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken salad on some mini croissants, and I'm going to add a little pick to keep the sandwich from opening and spilling all over the lunchbox. Now for our special treat, Tyson chose gummy worms. And when I think of gummy worms, I think of pudding dirt cups. So I went ahead and made some little tiny mini ones. This is just a tiny bit of chocolate pudding. Next, you crush up some Oreos to make them look like dirt. And then of course we have the gummy worms. I'm just gonna add a few in here. These are really easy and really fun. And a tiny mini version is perfect for these lunches. Now Tyson also chose some Takis for today's lunch. Now I personally like Takis. I've only ever tried this flavor, but they can be a little bit spicy. So I'm gonna go ahead and let my kids try them and see what they think. For the drink today, Tyson chose grapefruit juice. And then I decided to also throw in a little yogurt too because I know my kids will appreciate it. And that's everything in today's lunch. We'll see how they do. Okay guys, what did you think of today's lunch? I kinda liked it. Kinda liked it? I thought it was awesome. Mackenzie ate all of her sandwich, Jackson has a little bit left, and Lily has quite a bit left. Was it your favorite? Not really. No, she's not really into chicken these days. What did you think of the dirt cup? It was so good. Yeah? <laughs> you guys all ate your dirt cup. Okay guys, good job today and we will see you next week. This was so much fun letting other YouTubers pick our lunches and we'd love to do it again. So go ahead and take this poll. It's up here in the corner. Let us know who your favorite YouTube families are and we will reach out to them to see if they'd like us to do their lunches. And it definitely wouldn't hurt if you guys went and commented on their videos to let them know that you'd love to see us make their lunches. Now don't forget to go check out Sunshine Mafia's channel. We will link it down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Did you find a Luna lunchbox in today's video? If you did, let us know in the comments down below where you found her and use the hashtag Luna lunchbox. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.